I found six work from home jobs that do not require a resume or interview. And the first one on the list is going to be customer service representative for Arise. Arise is an established company that's been around since 1994 that connects businesses with customer support representatives. And in a world where customer service is king, Arise is the company that brings together dedicated individuals to provide exceptional customer support from the comfort of their home. And they eliminate the traditional interview and resume process so you can start much more easily. Now, according to Glassdoor, the estimated base pay is about $16 per hour. Some of the pros here are a flexible work schedule and the convenience of working from home, an opportunity to get experience in the customer service industry, and no commuting or dress code. Some of the cons are you are technically going to be a contractor, so there may be fluctuating work volume, the potential for dealing with challenging customers, and the need for a quiet and professional workspace at home. So overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8 out of 10. I honestly think customer service representative is extremely underrated. A lot of people look down on customer service representatives, but it's one of the easiest remote jobs to get, and it's also a great segue into other types of jobs later on down the line. Do you want to make money by playing with numbers and trying to be a Wall Street tycoon? You might want to check out becoming a junior trader for e-financial careers. And this website is one of the leading platforms that connects finance professionals with job opportunities. And as a junior trader, you'll be involved in analyzing financial trades, executing those trades, managing portfolios, and assisting senior traders in making informed investment decisions. And a junior trader is kind of like a swimming coach in the vast ocean of the financial markets, guiding and training individuals to navigate the waves of global training and all with skill and precision. So this website does offer an amazing opportunity for remote work in the finance field, and it allows individuals to gain real world experience and build their trading skill. And the way it works is you get a live trading capital of $20,000 and any profit you make, you can split it 50-50 with the company. So this is very much an eat what you kill type of job. So if you're not able to be profitable, you're not going to last long with the company. Now, junior traders in general make about $143,000 a year, but this position you'll likely make much less than that unless you're extremely good. But like I said, this is a great way for you to get started and get some experience. So the pros here are you have an opportunity to be in an industry that has more opportunity than just about any other industry out there, maybe besides the tech industry. And that of course is finance. You have the potential to make a ton of money on commissions and you have access to valuable industry resources. The cons here are high levels of competition. You absolutely must be profitable with your trades in order to stay with the company. Also long hours in a stressful work environment and you have to continuously learn and adapt to the changing markets. So overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. Are you fed up with the long lines at the DMV? Well, you can become an online notary with this company and sign documents in your pajamas. And this is an online platform where you can actually get documents e-notarized. That's right, you don't have to go to a physical notary in real life. So with this website, you can put your digital seal on important documents, ensuring their authenticity and legality from the comfort of your home. Now, according to Glassdoor, people who work full-time as online notaries make somewhere between thirty-nine dollars to $64,000 a year. So some of the pros here are you have a flexible schedule that allows you to balance work and personal commitments. And in many cases, you can actually just do this on the side. So this can be a really good source of side income on top of your normal job. There's also no need for in-person appointments or commuting, and there is potential for steady income. Some of the cons are it does require a very thorough understanding of your state law. Also, depending on the state you live in, there are different levels of training processes in order to become a notary. And depending on the place you live in, opportunities for notarization may vary. But overall, this one is fantastic. I mean, you can make a full-time income from it. You can also do it as a side hustle and make almost a full-time income. So I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next company cracked the code for turning your browsing addiction into a legitimate job. And that is going to be a search engine evaluator for Appin. Now this is one of the websites that has some of the best feedback on Reddit and different forums across the internet. And it's kind of complicated to explain what Appin does, but basically it's a global technology company that specializes in human annotated data for machine learning and AI development. And it basically helps companies improve their algorithms and conquer the digital world. Now you may think that that sounds way too complicated for you. There's no way that you can do that because you're not like a tech whiz or anything, but actually you're basically just giving feedback on how accurate search engines are. So if you're somebody who browses the internet a lot, then you're the perfect person for this job. And according to Glassdoor, Appin pays $22 an hour for this position, but other reports across the internet are typically less than that. So some of the pros here are you get to be at the forefront of improving search results and also working with data. So it can 
can be a great experience if you want to go into the technology industry or work with data down the line. It also has flexible hours to fit your lifestyle and you get to contribute to the grand scheme of AI domination. Some of the cons are the availability of projects may vary. You have to have strict adherence to guidelines and it can also be relatively tedious. Overall, I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Are you ready to unleash your inner Simon Cowell without having to crush people's hopes and dreams with that harsh British accent? Well, you might wanna try being a music reviewer for slicethepie.com. And this is an online platform where music lovers can listen to, review, and rate new and emerging songs from artists. And you can also provide valuable feedback to them to help shape the future of the music industry. And this is basically a way to share your thoughts and help musicians to improve their craft. That's right, you can basically get paid to be a hipster. Now, basically, you'll listen to a song and then you'll leave a review on that song and you'll get paid anywhere between one to 20 cents. So this is definitely not something that you're gonna be making a full-time income from, but if you wanna listen to new and emerging music and new and emerging artists anyways, you might as well get paid to do it. So the pros here are you get to actually make money doing what you love, you get a chance to discover new and emerging artists, and it can be great experience for you if you want to break into the music industry down the line. Some of the cons are the compensation can vary based off of the quality and quantity of reviews. It can also be very time consuming. It's pretty subjective as well. And chances are you'll listen to a lot of music that you don't really enjoy. So this is a good way to make a little bit of extra money on the side, especially if you're going to listen to music anyways. I'll give this one a five out of 10 opportunity score. Speaking of hipsters, this next one on the list will allow you to become a website design hipster. And that's a UX tester for Playbook UX. And this is a service that basically connects businesses with UX testers that will provide them feedback on their website design. And this is all designed to improve the user experience. Now, this is a website that does have a lot of positive reviews online, and you'll typically get paid about $10 for a 10 to 20 minute unmoderated session, $30 for a 30 minute moderated interview, $60 for a 60 minute moderated interview, $90 for a 90 minute moderated interview, $2 per card sort, and $2 per tree test. So as you can see, they do compensate you very fairly. But with that being said, you're not going to be able to make this into a full-time income unless you sign up for a bunch of these different types of user experience testing websites. So some of the pros here are you get to have an opportunity to make a meaningful impact on improving user experience. You do get paid for sharing your honest opinions and evaluations. You get access to a variety of different website testing products. And this is great to put on your resume if you want to get into UX or UI design in the future. Some of the cons here are the compensation can definitely vary depending on how many assignments there are. And it requires self-motivation and time management skills to meet testing deadlines. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of 8 out of 10. If you haven't checked it out already, I did make a remote job tier list where I ranked a bunch of different remote jobs from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. And you can check that out by clicking right here.